uh, just a little random one I thought I'd record. Um, might be of interest to people, might not. <coughs> Basically, let's get the camera straight. At some point, my three-year-old managed to knock the knock my uh, ooh, knock me gunship down, and he knocked off all three of these little bunnies. <coughs> you can see here they are. This is what. Uh, oh, sorry. This is what they look like. And if you count the ones I found, I found two of them. I lost three, and I found two. Which means I can't really repair the uh, the ship. So, <coughs> went down my local, uh, my local friendly gaming store um, in Portsmouth. One called A Fistful of Dice. <coughs> and... Uh, I fished through their big box until I found something vaguely gun-like that I thought I could carve up. I found the bits to this. Somebody built it and uh, used the ultimate weapon. It's a dreadnought bit, so I'm hoping that it will fit there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to carve it off from here forward and stick it onto here. It will look big and it will look weird, but it should be cool. Now, first thing I'm going to do is... Make a bigger gluing area by removing what's left of these barrels. And again, I've no idea if there's any interest to you guys. <clears throat> I just thought it might make a, a semi interesting video to some people. Nope. Oh, back. Just try not to slice bits off the model too much. You can see that uh, that's reasonably flat. I'm going to take this and I'm going to saw this off. Remember, I want this bit, so I'm going to saw well to the side of it. Now, first thing I'm going to do is be a bit of a dick and just try and. Nope, a bit too strong. I'm going to use this, which is a junior um, hacksaw. Obviously, I want this bit, so I'm not going to saw on this bit. I'm going to saw just to the side of the bit I want to preserve as much of the bit I want as possible. Now I'm going to hold it down firm. <coughs> and there we go. You can see, cut straight through quite easily. <coughs> you can see, because it's a saw, We've got a fairly rough finish. So what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to take the knife and I'm going to very carefully, um, in such a way as to not slice up my hand, I hope, um, trim that off until, again, it's flat. Just make sure to take off all the loose bits. A little bit there, it's just sticking up. Now, let's see where this fits. Okay, just make sure this fits. <coughs> we'll take this and apply glue liberally to the surface. Now, and what I'm also going to do. is I'm just going to wait for that glue to have a little bit of an effect. Now, 
Jo, man slår med. Okay, now I can see there that. You can see that I put that on, it looked good, but when I glued it, it was slightly wonky, so I've taken it off, trimmed the offending area. Still needs a little bit. So the good thing about plastic glue, you've still got a lot of time to work with it. You can see that that's there. And I'm just gonna, again, trim. Trim the offending area down. Take it off. And make sure I've got not too much there. Now obviously this isn't as good, or as cool as having the original barrel. Well, you've got to do. You've got to make do with what you've got. So there we go. Yeah. See that bunny is pretty much straight. Let's give it a wiggle. Now you can see it's not as good as the original. But it is bigger and cooler, and when this dude is flying along, <coughs> it's uh, it's gonna be enough to actually uh, <coughs> look like a gun. Um, but yeah, that's it. It's just a, a quick um, conversion slash repair of a broken model using bits that I was able to access. Just thought that might be interesting to some of you guys. Uh, I hope, you got, hope that was useful to some people. Have a nice uh, have a nice day. Hi guys, hope you enjoyed that video, and if you did, remember to like and subscribe to my channel. I'm also on Facebook and Twitter. I'm not sure why, but I am. Um, so, if you like it, see me there, and uh, please tell your friends. Thanks very much. Bye.